okay friends so uh, in the last video we saw how we you know how we uploaded our code in the uh, github in the cloud right so what is the next task if you see this diagram right the diagram that we have created here so we push the code to the github now uh, jenkins uh, you know Jen we have to create a uh, jenkins job so that jenkins will be able to take the code from here and jenkins will be able to create the image push it to the docker so we are going to see this part now so um, before we go there so we have uploaded our code in the github and if you go here we can see the the repository url right we need this url to create a job in the jenkins okay so that jenkins will be able to know where is the code in the github so now if you go to the jenkins here and in the jenkins let's create a new project okay new item so this name is you can say okay um selenium selenium docker builder so you can give any name whatever you want so uh, that's it and we are saying pipeline project because now when you you have a code in the Gen uh, github it has the jenkins file so it will read that jenkins file and then uh, according to that it will work right we have a jenkins file here this is the jenkins file right so once we uploaded the code in the github we also uploaded this jenkins file right if you see here in the github we have jenkins file somewhere see this jenkins file right so jenkins when you say this pipeline project it knows that it has to read the instructions from the jenkins file okay so let's click okay here now in the description we can provide anything uh, like this will this will uh, this will build the image image okay and push and push the image to dock so this is what we want to do let's see so anything you can give any description for this so that's uh, fine so next what we have to do now from where we will see um okay so this is the description now this is build triggers so so leave it for now pipeline okay so we have to tell here right so pipeline is script from scm okay so the script will come from source code management scm means uh, the github so let's provide the git okay so the source code management is the git and what is the repository url that we copied from here so this is the repository url that you go to the code and copy it from here so jenkins will go to this path and it will see where is the jenkins file the pipeline script right so it will pipeline script means the jenkins file this is the pipeline script okay so it will read from there and then it will execute accordingly okay and then um that's it i think uh next what we want okay so branch we have uh, right now we don't have much branches uh, because we are not learning much of the github so we have not created the branch we have everything in the master okay so that's fine uh next is just click on the save apply and save okay so now if you go to the dashboard see now we have two uh one we have docker test docker test it is it it it's uh, it don't take the codes from your source code management it it has just one command docker ps but our doc this selenium docker builder this job we have created it will take the code from the github and then uh, it will execute whatever instructions is there in the pipeline script that is jenkins file okay now let's build our image okay so if you build in this here if you build it it will what it will do it will take the latest code that is there in the github and it will create the image it will just read this file okay first it will compile it and create the target folder okay right now if you see this target folder is blank so if you do it here 
if you do build this selenium docker it will read it and it will execute this maven clean package and it will cre create all those things and then it will build the image and then it will push to the docker hub so let's see let's see it. let's do this okay. build now so if you see it's trying to build in the master because maybe we had one node and we know that in master we don't have a uh, docker right so maybe it will fail so selenium docker builder so now it is also running here and it is also running here because we have more instructions so let's do one thing actually if we go to the masters okay masters there is nothing there is no okay let's see what happened actually let's see if it is successful or what happened now go here okay so this is the thing actually something is the error failure cloning remote repo origin you're saying some error right okay let's see what is that error. so let me see guys okay friends so we are getting some error in the gate and i just tried to do the google why we are getting this error so they are saying like okay maybe we have to you know we have to provide the path of the git.exe so let's try to do that and see if we can resolve that issue so for that we need to go to the um we need to go to this here and then from here because this is our project just go to the configure and uh, then go to the um, not here i think let's uh, let's see what they are saying here they are saying like okay go to your windows slave configuration okay so just manage jenkins and then from here we can go to this manage nodes and this is our uh, node right docker node that we have created just go to the configuration and here um, tools location okay tool locations and then add it here and uh, it's saying git default okay so we will provide the path of git so you know uh, you can just uh, get your path from here like uh, c program files git bin and then the git.exe so we will say git.exe also git dot exe and just save it okay. so now let's try to build our uh, build our project again okay so this is our project right so let's try to build it again build now so actually first is trying to execute in the master i think but there is no node in the master so actually it will execute in the docker only okay it's like it looks like in the master let's see it's in the executing in the third node of our docker so this time let's see how it will work okay so now the execution is completed so we will see whether uh, it's successful or not so um, let's see this last build okay so console output it looks like so we got something good but uh, okay okay build the image push the image but something is failing here okay so uh, it's not everything is successful but at least uh, we are able to uh, you know proceed so let's see what is failing okay friend so if you see the first stage is successful the first stage that is the compile right maven the stage one that is successful okay so that is build success now this is our second build the image and this is failing so what happened uh, you know there is some problem in our uh, this file itself okay so if you see the username i have provided is not correct so i have to provide the correct name okay so this is the one issue let's save it and let's build the uh project again okay let's build it again so let's see hmm. 
let's build it again so when you build it now we, we made the changes in the code but okay uh, okay so we have to commit our code right because we don't have the latest code in the uh, in the because this part here is building the jar but it thinks we have the code in the github so first we have to push our code in the there so let me do that okay friends yeah so since we made the change in our code we have to commit our code to the github because this part what we are doing right now it's taking the code from the github so we have to commit our code to the github so let me do that first okay so we are here uh we will say we already know that right git add star we replaced by this file we have certain okay let's see git status yeah, the git has TAT US modified jenkins file okay now star so this time fine now we will we added it now let's commit commit so this is not first commit just we will say co changes made to jenkins file now we will because we don't have to you know again uh, provide this remote path because it's already there so we just push it okay now let's now we have the latest code now let's build the project again okay so let's build it mm. so this time when i'm building um, okay so it's still ex executing here so let's see now this execution is done so let's see what happened this time okay let's go to this one let's go to the console output let's see so this time this is success this is invalid argument okay so there is some some mistake let me okay friend so let me change something in my jenkins file so if you remember uh we don't need this here we will just say docker build minus t and we'll provide our username and then we will remove this here okay so this is the one change that we are doing and then here the name credential is docker hub right so this is the credentials we are providing here to connect to the our docker hub because this when you want to push the image to the docker hub it needs the credential this jenkins file right so we have the docker hub and the password variable username is user okay because we will provide this username password from the command prompt okay that's fine and we are good now uh, here this also needs to be changed okay so hopefully this is this looks good now so again we have to if you see the gate status gate status so modified the jenkins file okay so let us uh, say git add okay then you say git uh, commit and then you say good push so now let's do it again now let's build uh, the project again so now we will build it again so we'll go here uh, back to the project back to the dashboard and here let's build it again so hopefully this time let's see how it will go okay so the execution is done let's go here and uh, let's uh, see this build here let's see this console output again it failed so what happened this time let's see again so it's saying docker build minus t this no such directory okay so let me see again 
okay friend so uh, let's see what is the error right it's the there is some problem building the image so i think we have to check our uh, this jenkins file right so in the jenkins file we have said okay to build the image but we have not provided the path right so let's try that minus f and uh, the path will be doct your docker file dot text so it has to read the docker file text to create the path right now let's save it and now let's commit our code again so it's a uh, git status so there is a change okay git add okay then commit changes made to the jenkins file jenkins file and then commit commit is done right so push push so now we push the code to the um jenkins now oh, sorry github now let's build the image again because when you are building this image you are saying okay to the jenkins file jenkins will call this jenkins file to build the image but how to build the image that instruction is in the docker file right so where is our docker file uh docker file is here so this is how they will read this docker file to create the build to create the image right so let's uh build it again now we have the latest code so we can try to build it again so build now okay so let's see this time what happens So it is still running. So now it is just executing all the commands from the Jenkins files. Now the execution is done. So let's go and uh, let's see this time. So last build. Let's go to the console part. Success. So this time it's success. So this time it was able to compile the project from the github it was able to create the image and then it uh, you know it also uh, provided the image to the docker hub so it needs the you credential that we have said is docker hub right we have created this credential in the uh, jenkins you know right yeah, if you go to this uh, um, where we can go man is jenkins uh, let's see okay let me show you that part i think we can just uh, recap that so there is board go to this manage jenkins and here manage credentials right we have provided we said okay uh if you say docker hub it will take all these credentials right so we said docker hub so it took the credentials so what is the username password it is taking username password it is taking from the file that we have provided here whatever we provided here right it is taking the username password there and using that it pushed the image to the docker hub so now if you go to the docker hub let's go to the docker hub and see whether our image is there or not see. go to the docker hub okay see selenium docker two minutes ago two minutes ago we put the image here right so now what we did so we did this much if you go to this image so now we maybe one or two or three people they commit the code to the github then from the github we create we provided the repository path url to the jenkins and we said to jenkins okay there is code there is a jenkins file also in the github you read that file and according to that you prepare an image okay and in the jenkins file we also provided a uh, that you can read the docker file to create the image and then after that you push that image to the docker hub so we are done till here okay in the next video we are going to see okay how we will run it in the remote machine any other machine right so how we will go we are going to run in the remote machine we just need docker installed and we need a docker compose file so we will see that in the next video but we can do one more thing in this video um just hide it here um 
one more thing we can cover in this video that is uh, so our you know uh, let me see our repository that we have created in the docker hub right uh, in the docker hub here right we have made it public right if you want to make it private you can do that actually you can go to um account settings let's see where we can go and do this um not account settings maybe let me see um not account settings maybe we have to go to the repository let's see um let's go here okay so this settings so this is our selenium docker so if you see this visibility right so make private if you click on the make private so this will be private nobody will able to you know download it okay so this is it in this video in the next video we will see how we can run our test okay okay friends bye